Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, comparisons, swatches, and this I look using the brand new Holiday 2020 collection from Shantekai. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about these beautiful luminescent eyeshadows from Shantekai, then just keep on watching. As you know, my friends, about two weeks ago, I went live for the first time and it was an incredible experience because I was, oh my goodness, I was lucky enough to go live with Shantekai. And along with Angela Barthel, who is a manager educator at Shantekai, we presented you their holiday collection, their new luminescent eye shades in zebra and crane. So here I have them. And like I said on that live, I promise you that I was gonna come back here in front of the camera and make a full on review swatches in natural light because you know how much I like to film in natural light. So anyhow friends, here they are. Now these luminescent eye shades, they are now available at Shantekai's website as well as other retailers. I will be leaving all the details of all my makeup, these eye shades and everything else, whatever I compare with on the description box below for your convenience. Another important thing too, I wanna, before I get into all of these, I will make sure to leave timestamps, but I just have to say, first of all, thank you to you guys because without your support, without you subscribing to my channel, without following me, without tagging me, I will not be able to partner up with brands like Shantekai. So I'm just so grateful for all the support that you give me here on YouTube, on Instagram, for following me. Again, you guys are amazing and you are the ones who are making my channel grow and I owe it all to you. Also, I wanna take this opportunity to once again, thanks Shantekai for being so generous, so kind, and for reaching out to me to do this special reveal for their holiday 2020. I mean, and that is huge for such a small channel like mine. I'm just beyond grateful for that confidence from Chantekai. So thank you to them once again. And I want to take a moment to thank some of the, my colleagues here in YouTube that actually, when I had asked them for help, they have been there. It was my first life. I didn't know which route to go. And I contacted Alicia from Kinky Sweat. I mean, she is like a sister to me. Anytime that I had asked her for anything i'm like she's extremely kind she has i mean like she literally films a little video and kind of do a mini tutorial hey jacqueline this is what you need to do this is you know these are my recommendations this, i mean that kindness is hard to find thank you so much again alicia i also want to thank so much to yari from yari's beauty she i mean jumping is jacqueline do you need a moderator for your life you might as well have one and she was there for me and she's always there for me i mean from the moment that i met her from the very first time she has been always an amazing friend i mean she has done so many things for me and i just hope that her channel blooms and grows because she deserves so so much i mean oh i i could just talk for hours about her also thank you so much to Brit clark Thank you, girl. Thank you so, so much for helping me. I mean, there were a few little minimal details at the very end that I was just struggling with. And I just had some questions and we Marco Polo together and she just helped me out with those, you know, final details right there. I'm just beyond grateful to them and to many other creators that actually jump into the live. I mean, Rocio from Aquisienta, Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly. I mean, there are so many. I will be linking their channels on the description box below because I honestly think that they deserve a lot of love, a lot of support for all the beautiful work that they do, each of them on their channels, but also because the kind of people that they are, kind hard people that they truly deserve to shine. Okay, my friends, and now let's go into these two babies right here. So I'm gonna be creating a look. We're gonna go into swatches and comparisons. Now is the time for swatches. So 
so for my eyes I'm gonna use the same bronzer that I'm using on my face right now just as a base and that is Chantecai in the shade Sirena and I'm just gonna go with my Scott Barnes number 62 brush Now let's go for the first luminescent eye shade. This is in Crane. Look at this beauty right here. I mean, the packaging is everything. This is a very, very deep burgundy tone and it has a little bit of glitter in it. And that's something that you may wanna know about these luminescent eyeshadows. Some of them, they do have a little bit of glitter in it and some of them, they don't have any like zero glitter there are many shades on the line one of my favorite ones is pangeline i will be swatching it today too and doing the comparisons but the good news about these luminescent eyeshadows is they are gonna be permanent on the line <laughs> and i think that's just amazing and honestly the best application for these eye shades is with your finger but you can also use a brush i'm gonna be using my pk beauty 203 brush and I'm gonna take this shade and apply it right here on my outer V. I wanna show you what's the finish with the finger application. Do you see the intensity right there? And it has little micro pink glitter in it, like they are micro micro tiny 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 ones and then I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse this shade right here I'm taking whatever is remaining on my brush and kind of just going above the crease just a little going with the shade zebra look at this beauty I'm my Sonia G Builder Pro now this one for example doesn't have any glitter in it I'm gonna apply it first with this brush and then I'm going to show you how it looks wet and then we will do a finger application. So as you can tell with a brush, although this brush is very nicely packed, it does give more of like a very subtle application so you can really use a little bit of your bronzer and these all over your eyelid and you know like it can be a daytime look. I'm going to go back again to the same shade. And I'm going to use a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus and look at this difference right here. Now let's go for the finger application. And immediately you can see right here how metallic is this shade. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go again into my bronzer Sirena with Refer 02 brush. And I'm Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroons and I'm gonna use the matte side for my upper lash line. Cheetah Refer 03 brush. For mascara, NARS Climax Extreme. And as a highlighter, I'm gonna use Cheetah. And let's jump into comparisons. Let's go for Zebra. I'm from the Positano collection, Soleil. Soleil is a multi-chrome that has some green, peach, pink, while Zebra has more of like a peach and pink undertone. Crane. Here I have Pangeline. Crane and Pangeline, they both have a beautiful purple mauve tone, but definitely Crane is a lot deeper in tone. It truly complements well Pangeline. And now Crane. From the Hummingbird Collection, the Eye Quartet in Cool.
Definitely Crane has a lot more glitter, particles, I mean it's a different finish. This one right here is more of like a very impactful satin finish. Let's go for Zebra. This shade right here, I don't think anybody has mentioned that this is a multi-chrome. It has a flip of green and purple. Beautiful. You see the flip right there? Stunning. I definitely think that this quartet right here and these two new eyeshadows, they complement each other so, so well. I mean, like, can you see right here? I mean, just so beautiful. To my final thoughts, my friends, I know these will not come to surprise to you, but I certainly love the luminescent eyeshadows from Shantekai. I think they are those one and done eyeshadows that they have so much dimension that you can actually apply them like you saw in my demonstration, you know, completely dry in a very subtle way. You can go more impactful by wetting them or using a finger application. I mean, <laughs> They are just so lovely. They are beautiful. To me, they are worth every single penny. I love them that much and I'm so happy to see this collection growing and growing. I know that everything started with the Positano collection and they had such a huge hit with these eyeshadows that you know, they decided to span and I'm just so happy they do. I hope that they bring back these ones right here, Soleil and also Mare. I think that will be amazing too. And to see the line just growing. I really also love Shantekai, the purpose behind the brand. I mean, giving back to earth, giving back to environment, giving back to the wildlife, giving back to communities, native communities in South America, and so much more. I think um, Shantekai is a brand that I know a lot of people perceive it like a luxury brand, but it's a luxury brand with a purpose, and I think that's something not too common to find and something that they need to be highlighted for. Okay, my friends, and I think this does it for this video. I would love to know from you, are you planning? to pick up these two eyeshadows or have you picked it up during that live I know there was a gift we purchased by the way my link was an affiliate link it was simply for Shantekai to know that the people who were actually shopping they came from the live I greatly appreciate that support let me know if you got these eyeshadows during the live and what else you got if you got your gift with purchase and during that live there was also a giveaway I already have announced on my community tab and on my Instagram who was the winner Selenita makeup just in case if you didn't know congratulations to her once again and before you leave I really hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and let's grow our family also on Instagram come and follow me there if you like this video if it serves you in any way please give it a like share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye Huh? <gasps>